brain tech here where tech is made simple so we also get our windows 11 patch to the updates rolling out for february and in the first of two videos for windows 11 for patch tuesday for this month we are going to look at the update that rolled out for windows 11 version 22h2 which was kb5022845 which was made available on the 14th of february and as many of you may know the Patch Tuesday updates are compulsory, mandatory, cumulative updates which will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. Now, once this update has been installed, if we just head over to Win very quickly, about Windows, Windows 11 version 22H2, the OS build is now upgraded to 22.621.1265 after that update has been, and this update has been applied. Now this is a security update and just to go through the security fixes at first, uh, very similar to what rolled out for Windows 10. Windows 10 got 34 vulnerabilities fixed, Windows 11 gets 31. Three of those are critical vulnerabilities that have been fixed and just like Windows 10 are remote code execution vulnerabilities that have been fixed and addressed. So um, 31 vulnerabilities in Windows 11 fixed three of those critical so an important update rolling out uh, with kb5022845 so um, that will patch any vulnerabilities you had in the windows 11 operating system now um, if you didn't install this update which rolled out at the end of january which was the optional c release update which was kb5022360 for windows 11 version 22h2 then um, all these improvements and bug fixes, because this is an optional bug fix update, will be made available in the February Patch Tuesday update 5022845. So if you didn't install this update, those improvements will be carried over into this month. Now, I did post a video on um, KB5022360, which I'll leave a link to in the description. But just to go through a couple of those improvements and fixes, just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video. If we just head back to Windows Update, the optional .NET Preview Framework updates now will not be made available after this update has been installed through the through um, update history quality updates. You will see those now found if we head to Advanced Options, Optional Updates. This is where you'll see the future Preview.NET Framework updates appear. They will not appear as quality updates and then you will have the option to install those um, optional net.net framework updates just giving you a little bit more choice as to if you want to install those optional.net framework updates um, there's also a couple of taskbar search fixes um, if we head over to the remote desktop connection uh, there were fixes there was a, a fix for an issue that was affecting the mstsc.exe stopping from responding connecting to a remote desktop connection and that was a big fix and a big problem um, a while back and um, if you haven't applied that previous update that remote desktop issue will be um, fixed with this latest update it also addresses a deadlock issue it also includes a tpm fix on certain systems with numerous other bug fixes that have rolled out and as mentioned i'll leave a link to that previous video in the description so that's more or less it for this latest update for windows 11 22h2 kb5022845 and over and above those important security fixes brings one or two improvements and a whole bunch of bug fixes carried over from last month's optional c release update so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one